We're making our way down into World Showcase and look at this. This view is breathtaking year after year with the floating flowers out there and just all of this. I think they call this like carpeting or the, every inch of the ground is covered in flowers. So we're getting ready to cross over into World Showcase and I'm looking forward to getting some festival items. I'm getting pretty hungry right now, so I want to go ahead and try out some of the different festival foods, both new ones and old ones, like old favorites, as well as there's been a few things this year that I've seen that are brand new for the festival that I cannot wait to try. So here is Trial and Trellis, which this is kind of like the vegetarian and vegan booth here. They have a lot of things featured by Impossible Foods. That's what it's hosted by. That was like yesterday when I was in Magic Kingdom with Nicole and Jim. We ate vegan at Diamond Horseshoe with those stuffed peppers that use this same impossible meat, or like meat, I put that in quotations. And it was really good. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they have here. But there's one particular thing that we definitely, like we've known that we wanted. And it's this grilled street corn on the cob. So it has like a um, savory garlic spread on top. It looks so good. We just passed back there. A bunch of people all had it and we're eating it. We were like, we think that needs to be our first item we tried. It looks really good. Mom, you want to show it off? <laughs> we got the street corn. So look at it. it has it was like a garlic, garlic parmesan savory parmesan spread on top. I've never tried a corn on the cob doctored up like this. So I'm excited to give it a whirl. You like it, mom? It's delicious. Um, the corn is really, really. Um, I guess it pops right off. It pops right it off. Pops I was worried right about off. that. It's not going to be like mean. stringy. I know exactly no, what you it's mean. Not yeah. Tough at all. It's really easy to come off. Oh yay! And, the low garlic, butter, yeah, yummy. Yummy. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. We wanted to try something similar to this out in Disneyland and like never got around to it. I forgot where that was at. That was back in California Adventure somewhere. And ever since then, I've always been curious to try like one of these doctored up corn on the cob. So I want to give it a whirl now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give this a try now. It looks really good. Mm. Oh, that is so good. I see what you mean. It just like pops right off. It's like the flavors in it. I'm like trying to pick up what it is. It has Parmesan. I definitely get like that cheesy flavor. Definitely garlic. It's kind of like a yeah. breadcrumb almost. Okay, first festival item was a success. I would give that a five out of five, hands down. It wasn't like tough. Like you know how some corn on cob is like hard to eat. This like just it was so poppable. It popped right off. You could eat and it was the cob. delicious. I ate the top of the cob. You ate the top good. of the cob. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. I, you so were the one that had the first yeah. bite of it, so I didn't realize that. Cool. It was so tender. Yes, it was super tender. Quite. Delicious. And I thought the flavoring on it was just perfect. It was a garlic. Um, spread that they had on there, but it wasn't like overpowering with garlic. Cause I hate when things are like too super garlicky. It was like just the perfect, you got the flavor from it, but it wasn't, it didn't like kill you with garlic. So I thought it was perfect. What'd you think mom? I loved it. It's yes. good. Yeah. It, is, it lived up to what I wanted it to be. I know. I said, it, I think it's a five out of five because it was easy to eat like that part. It's messy, messy. Just have napkins with you and ready, <laughs> but so worth it. Cause it is delicious. And yeah, all the flavorings on it. Five out of five. <laughs> Passing the Lotus House here in China. And this is an experience we really want to do. And so this is a Chinese artisan that actually like shapes the cotton candy. So it's past the hours right now, but at some point this week, we're going to check that out. Oh, look at this. World Showcase at Sunset. Nothing beats it. All right, so from Germany here, this is the pretzel bread and it has black forest ham and Gruyere cheese melted over top. It looks really good. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay, so this is the pretzel ham and cheese. That's really good. Oh wow. What do you guys think? Mama and Papa. It's very good. Like it? Ham is good, cheese is good on it. Soft pretzel? Soft pretzel. All right, camp. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out like what the ham tastes like. It's like, it almost has like a smokiness to it. No, or no I think it's it said so black good. forest, didn't it? Black forest oh, ham. It's just like a comfort food. It's just like that warm pretzel. German, really German like, comfort it's food. German <laughs> comfort food. It is so good. I, this is another five out of five. I'm calling it right now. Five out of five. <laughs> <laughs> the whole entire family. Okay, my favorite thing I've had so far. It is only the second item here, so it could change, but so far, I just really, I'm glad I got that. The pretzel 
bread, the pretzel roll with the cheese and the ham on it. It just tasted so good. It was just so comforting and amazing. And look, here's where Snow White has been moved to this year. It used to be her and all the dwarves, but I think it's only now her and Dobie, but they've like moved it over here. This is so cute. Oh wow, you can get real like up close now, like seeing her, and I think just the lighting right now is hitting her so perfectly. And then there's Dopey. So we're now in the American Adventure Pavilion and we stopped off at the Smokehouse and this is such a good booth. Like we love this year after year. So let me show you, we're getting kind of a little bit of everything. We have actually three things that we're getting. We're getting the top three there, the pulled pig slider, the beef brisket burnt ends with smoked pork belly slider, and then the shredded beef brisket. The pictures up there, they all look so good. So this is the pork, or the pig slider, I think it was called. So this one is the beef brisket with burnt ends and smoked pork belly slider. And then over there, we have the shredded beef brisket. And what is that on, Dad? It's like on, is that in a potato? A uh, small, a lot of potato, yes. Yeah. Wow. Potato. Oh yeah, that looks good. Did you get so we're getting a little bit of everything. We are still enjoying our food here from the smokehouse. And so I went in first on, this is the pulled pig slider. It is really good. There's a little bit of a kick of heat to the back end of it there, but like it's not like too to the point, like I'm not good with spicy food, but it's not like to the point that you can enjoy it. So this is really good. I like the coleslaw on top. It kind of gives it a little bit of a crunch and a little bit of a zest in there as well. And then my mom, you have, that one is the, that's the beef brisket, right? Or the burnt ends, that's the burnt ends one. And I think um, pork. Yeah. It's the, called the trio. Um, and then has a chorizo sausage that was on oh, top yeah, of that it. was on it. The presentation on that one was really cool. Was but yeah, good. I just tried a bit of hers over there and I was like, I like yours more. I like the sauce aspect of yours. Is there any spiciness in yours though? No. No, not really yet. And the sauce, it's almost like a sweeter barbecue sauce. Like it's like a really good barbecue sauce that accompanies that one. So that's really good. And then I tried, my dad has the, um, brisket over there that was served in the potato and that was also good it's super tender so all of these are winners america always like hits it home with like their the smokehouse here is good all the time but if food and wine too when they have the what do they call it a food and wine it's like the hops and barley or there's something that they call it but it's like always amazing oh this is so pretty with the lights on and all these pretty yellow and orange flowers out front I like this. This is that Honey Bee Show, which was my favorite booth last year. I loved that flatbread from here. And the mascarpone cheesecake with the honey was so good. So that's another thing that I'm excited to get again at some point this week because it was absolutely delicious. It's a lot left to try. <laughs> yes. Sandwich. I know tonight was like kind of the preview of everything that there was around because it's kind of like a quick little lap We made around the entire world showcase. We so did. Yeah, yeah, we saw a lot But yeah during the daytime we're gonna have like a full proper flower and garden day and like actually like Stop and look at each topiary and take it all in but it was so Party cool to see everything favorite. Yeah. Yes, with all the floating carpeting flowers. and the floating flowers look and all this oh hear that upcut music I love how it transitions into that future world music right around here. So our first stop, this was my all-time favorite booth from last year's festival, the Honey Bistro. And my all-time favorite festival item of last year was this one right here, the Honey Tandoori Chicken Flatbread. It was amazing, so I'm excited to get that again. And then we're gonna try a first for us here, which is the roasted cauliflower. So I just walked over here to the board that it tells you what each item is. So the one that I had last year, which became my all-time favorite item, was this honey tandoori chicken flatbread. So it's white cheddar cheese, um, charred vegetables, clover honey sour cream, and micro citrus greens. It is delicious. Here's a picture of it right here. It was my absolute favorite item. And then 
What we're getting new this year is this roasted cauliflower. This, I believe, was here last year, but we just didn't get around to trying it. It is buckwheat, honey, carrot puree, wild rice pilaf, asparagus, honey blistered grapes, sunflower brittle, and coriander flowers. And here we go. Here it is. We've got the cauliflower and the flatbread. Okay, let's give it a try. All right, so I'm gonna give a try to my favorite from last year, flatbread. Here it is. Oh my gosh. It's even better than I remember it. That is so good. The sour cream that is on this, five out of five. It really is a five out of five. It is that delicious. Okay, so now I'm gonna try this cauliflower over here. That's season. Good. Did you try? That's really good. I didn't get the peel off yet. I got the cauliflower. Mm. This is good as far as flatbread. Good. I don't pick up on the honey in that one as much. Like, where's the honey component? I got honey went with, with the. There was a sunflower. Oh, sunflower. And then sunflower brittle. It was mm. like. So the flatbread is like amazing. It's even better than how I remember it. It's definitely a five out of five. The cauliflower was good. I couldn't really pick up an, as much of the honey. My mom had a little bit more of it and she noticed the honey. Where was, you said it was mainly in like the like, sunflower yeah, they part that they had? Um, sunflower brittle. Oh, okay. It was really good and I think they like made the brittle with the honey like yeah. they held it all together. So you kind of got that aspect good. from that. Yeah, rice is like not my all time favorite so I didn't have as much of that. So for me personally, it was more like, I don't know, like a two. It just wasn't like my favorite thing, but it was good. Mom, what would you rate the cauliflower? Because you're more the, the fan of the rice peel off. Um, probably. Like out of five, what do you think? Well, it's probably a three and a half. Three and a half? Yeah, I gave it a two just because it's like not my I like cauliflower, thing, yeah. I like the rice. You're not a rice fan. I know. <laughs> it was delicious. Yeah, but this right here, five out of five. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. We now have, this is the honey mascarpone cheesecake. And Alyssa and Kim are here. Hi! <laughs> this looks so good. It's more sparkly than last year too. Here is the citrus blossom and I am going to get the orange bird sipper, which has an orange cream slushy in it. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited. This is like one of the first times that they have like a merchandise item. Okay, so I got the item that I've been super excited for. This is the orange bird. Okay, I have a thing for orange bird. I just think he's like such a classic Disney character. He's so cute. So this is the orange cream slushy, and it's served in this souvenir orange bird zipper. This is like one of the first times also that they've ever had like a souvenir item from an outdoor kitchen. So okay, let's try it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so good. <laughs> it's like ice cream. Did you know Does she like it? <laughs> it's so good. It's really good. It's like, like a dream sickle. Yeah, it is. It's mm -hmm. exactly what it's like. It's like a melted down mm -hmm. dream sickle. He is kind of cute. We have to get a picture too. Yeah. <laughs> so my mom and mum are gonna have, let me see what you got mom. <laughs> A chicken kebab with couscous salad. Ooh, y'all, let me know what you think. Alyssa and Kim said that they had this earlier. It was a plus. You like the chicken kebab? Yeah. Yes. You also had what was it? The hummus the cauliflower. 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 It's really good. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Delicious. So yummy. You can get the desert violet lemonade from the pineapple promenade. Yeah, they also have the Dole Whip here. It's called pineapple soft serve, but it's basically it's the Dole. Whip. It's the um, it's frozen. It's like a slushy. Yeah, it's. Violet lemonade, it's really good. Oh, they also have the Dole Whip with a Fanta. I want the Violet lemonade though. That's the festival classic. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, look how cute. I love the flowers. <laughs> That's awesome. There she is. So here's the setup that they have for it. This put a little zest in your fest. I just did a little photo shoot and I realized I have my purple magic band on today too, which is perfect for this. This is so good. And my dad, dad, what'd you get? You have the, was that the one with the Fanta or it's just the regular Dole no, Whip? just the regular Dole Whip. Dole Whip, the pineapple, pineapple whip. soft whip. Very good. Soft serve. Very refreshing. Yay. Yeah, so I am having, this is the Desert Violet Lemonade and they didn't have straws up there this year. Disney's like really cutting back on the straws, but it's good to just eat with a spoon. And then I'm actually, once it starts to get a little bit melty, you can just go ahead and like that. <laughs> 